Hey guys, Kyle here with High Point Scientific, and today you guys are in for an amazing treat because today behind me stands the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying the Dragon capsule, getting ready for its historic mission to space tonight. I'm here at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, about four miles away from the Falcon 9 rocket. And the point of tonight's video is going to be how to take one of those super beautiful long exposure shots of a rocket launch. And if you haven't seen them, they're those beautiful long exposure shots of a rocket uh, showing its trajectory as it heads out into the heavens. So so I am super excited to be able to show you guys that video tonight. I'm gonna to be going over some of the best practices, some of the best settings you should be using for your camera, as well as some of the best locations. So uh, I hope to be able to share you, with you guys the experience tonight because seeing a rocket launch in person is one of the coolest, most spectacular things that you can possibly see. Let's talk a little bit about the Falcon 9 rocket itself. Now behind me again stands the Falcon 9 rocket it is booster 1062 on its third flight and on top of that is the dragon capsule resilience but what's really special about this mission is that resilience will be carrying a crew of four non-government affiliated all civilian astronauts these are all astronauts who have never flown into space have no nasa or any government agency training to be able to fly into space so this is the first truly all civilian uh, mission into low Earth orbit. And I could not be more excited to see this because again, we're opening up that democratization of space, making space accessible to the everyday average people, hopefully with the goal of one day making life multi-planetary. So I hope to be able to share with you guys the adventure a little bit tonight. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the best places to actually view a rocket launch here from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Um, Right now, I'm at a beach called Play Linda Beach. It is about four and a half miles away from the launch pad, and you actually can view some launches from here. However, unfortunately, the beach will be closing here in about 45 minutes or so, so I'll be relocating to a separate spot, um, a place in Titusville, about 12 miles away from the launch pad, and I hopefully should have a good view of the launch from that perspective. So you can go to Titusville for a launch, you can go to Mims, Florida, you can go to Coco, you can go to Port Canaveral, you can go to Coco Beach. Those all would be fantastic spots to view a a rocket launch. So now that we've seen the rocket a little bit on the pad, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to relocate to my prime viewing spot and we're hope for an on-time liftoff at 8.02 p.m. tonight. Again, the first all civilian mission into space and I am so, so excited for it and I hope to be able to share the experience with you guys tonight. Hey guys, so we've changed relocations again. We were at uh, Play Linda Beach. We've moved over to a boat ramp about 12 miles away from the launch pad and things are looking really good tonight. The weather is really good, about a 90% chance of favorable weather. Uh, the astronauts have gone into their Tesla Model X's. They've driven out to the launch pad. They've gone up the elevator, the same elevator that was used by the Apollo astronauts in the 60s. They've gone across the crew access arm and they have now boarded the Dragon capsule resilience. So everything's looking good as far as the weather goes and everything's looking good as far as technical aspects go. And I cannot be more excited to see the first uh, all civilian mission to low earth orbit. So let's talk setup a little bit. So tonight I'm using the Apertura 72 millimeter F6 doublet refractor. And the reason I chose this refractor because it is absolutely perfect for the type of video I want to take tonight. Um, the Apertura 72 millimeter was obviously designed with astrophotography in mind, but it's great for terrestrial photography as well. So that's what I'm going to be using to record a video of the launch tonight. And I also have a Nikon D610 out here with a Samyang 14 millimeter F2 lens. Now, the reason I chose a 14 millimeter lens was because it is absolutely perfect for those long exposure shots. So if you're looking to do a long exposure shot, you might ask yourself, well, what are the best settings you want to be able to use? And that's a good question. You don't wanna keep the f-stop uh, super wide, you wanna keep it as tight as possible. I usually go for about F20 to F22. And the reason for that is because rockets are incredibly bright. So bright, those will completely blow out your image. We also keep the ISO to about 100 to avoid there being any grain in the image. So those are the settings I feel that are generally the best. Uh, you obviously can play around, but I'd recommend you keeping your settings in the sort of that same vicinity. I also go for about a four minute long exposure or so. That's long enough for the rocket to be able to reach main engine cutoff and head off below the horizon. So again, things are looking really good and I am super excited to be able to share with you some hopefully incredible views at 8.02 p.m.
Go Falcon 9. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Coming up in max Q. Hey guys, that was a spectacular launch. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm so excited to see the Inspiration4 crew finally on their way to space, and I'm so excited for all four crew members. I hope they have a fantastic view of the Earth. So I did take my exposure that I was talking about. I haven't actually looked at it yet, so this is gonna be my reaction on camera as the first time I see it, and let's see how it looks. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the beautiful views of the takeoff. I know it was spectacular from my location. Again, my name is Kyle with High Point Scientific. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out a lot. Thank you guys again for tuning in and always remember to keep looking up. Thank you.